We have scorched the snake, not killed it. She'll close and be herself, whilst our poor malice remains in danger of her former tooth. But let the frame of things disjoint, both the worlds suffer, ere we will eat our meal in fear and sleep in the affliction of these terrible dreams that shake us nightly. Better be with the dead, whom we, to gain our peace, have sent to peace, than on the torture of the mind to lie in restless ecstasy. Let your remembrance apply to Banquo. Present him eminence both with eye and tongue, unsafe the wiles that we must lav our honors in these flattering streams, and make our faces vizards to our hearts, disguising what they know. Oh, full of scorpions in my mind, dear wife. Thou knowest Banquo and his fleance lives. There's comfort yet. They are assailable. Then be thou jocund, ere the bat hath flown his cloistered flight, ere to black Hecate summons the shard-born beetle with his drowsy hums, hath wrung night's yawning peal. There shall be done a deed of dreadful note. Be innocent of that knowledge, dearest Chuck, until thou applaud the deed. And with thy bloody and invisible hand, cancel and tear to pieces that great bond which keeps me pale. Thou marvelest at my words, but hold thee still. Things bad begun make strong themselves by ill. So prithee, go with me.